In the previous video, I forgot to mention a few things that will help you avoid certain errors and adjust some settings to achieve better output. I want to cover those points in this video. This video is actually a continuation or a complementary of previous one. If you're watching this video for the first time, make sure to go back and watch the previous one, which was really awesome. It's about upscaling and you can transform a very low quality image into something like this. This video is the complement to the last one. The first point is for those who are saying that when they run the workflow, they encounter red errors. To fix these errors, go to the manager section, open the manager and click on the update all. So everything in your configuration gets updated and the comfy UI itself is updated to the latest version. This is very important. After the comfy UI is updated, it will either reset on its own or you can manually restart it. Then re-enter to comfy UI to clear the red errors. To remove the errors, again reopen the manager. Click on install missing custom nodes and when you click on it, it gives you a list. Check this box and it will automatically check all the necessary custom nodes. Then click install and it will begin installing everything in order. Give it a bit of time to install what's needed and after that restart the comfy UI so it can run again and the red errors will be gone. Now for those who have encountered an error when uploading a very small image like this one that I uploaded which is 559 by 285 pixels like this one and it's very small. Sometimes when an image is too small and you click on Q prompt, it gives you an error like this. Size of tensor 24, blah, blah, blah. You have three ways to fix this error. First, choose a larger image. If your image has a larger size, you won't receive that error anymore. For example, I upload this image now and because it's larger, I won't get that error anymore. That's one method. The second point is that we don't want to provide a larger image. We wanted to upload the same low quality small sized image that we uploaded, which is 559 by 285 pixels. You have two ways to handle this. First, you can change the sampler. Before I explain this, for those which are stronger graphic cards, you can use the top two samplers here and set the high VRAM on true. The top two samplers are for stronger graphic cards and the bottom two are for weaker ones. Now when our image is very small and we get that error, we simply change the sampler to restore EDM sampler and the small image will no longer give that error. If you pay attention, the error no longer appear and the process is running. The third way is for those with weaker graphic cards who need to stay with the same option. If I now press the Q prompt, it will give me the error. Just reduce the sampler tile size little by little to see what number works. I set it to 672 and get the error again. Then reduce it to 640, but it still gives the error. So reduce it to 576. 544 and finally you'll see the error is gone these are three ways to fix that error using these tricks one very important point is to check whether the checkpoint you download requires vae or not if it needs vae you must select vae here if it doesn't require vae use the second workflow which i show you use the normal workflow if your checkpoint doesn't need VAE, if your checkpoint requires VAE, use the second workflow. Lastly, make sure to write a prompt related to the image. If your prompt isn't good, you might not get a good result. The quality of your prompt is very important. You can use ChatGPT and ask it to give you a prompt. I will show you how. You can upload your image here, the one you want to upscale, and ask the ChatGPT to give you a good prompt like this. And then you can copy the prompt and paste it into the prompt node and you are good to go. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe the channel.